So just yesterday, DaVinci Resolve came out with their new software update. It is beta, but it's DaVinci Resolve 18. So they came out with a bunch of different features. And today I wanna walk you guys through a few of those features because honestly, they're really cool and they're gonna help me in my everyday workflow. So first we're gonna be talking about the cloud sync that they just came out with. This is like incredible. Basically what it does is allow you to collaborate with different editors, color grading people like audio engineers, and it allows you to basically be able to work real time with other people whenever you're editing projects in DaVinci Resolve. Now this is really, really cool. However, you can't get full access yet because they haven't released it publicly as a beta, they have released it privately. So if I can get my hands on that software, I'll be releasing a video on that soon. Now they released another thing as well, and that is something that basically auto creates proxies for you. So right here on the screen, you can see the proxy generator icon, and it's a brand new separate software. So I have to go through the permissions first. Okay, okay. And basically the way that the software works is you say, hey, I want you to look at this folder. And so at any point, if any clips come into this new folder, it's gonna automatically start creating proxies for it and it's gonna upload those proxies to DaVinci Resolve and you're never gonna have to do anything for those proxies to be linked. It's just automatically gonna play like that. So right here in this folder that you see on the screen, I have one video clip. It's nine minutes and nine seconds. So we're gonna hit open and you can see that it comes right up in the watch folder. Now again, like I said, what this program is actually gonna do is watch for any new clips that comes into this folder and it's gonna automatically create proxy files for it and automatically upload it for you. So right here in the create proxies, I can choose whatever format I want. And I'm gonna say H24 8-bit at 420 and it's at 1080p, which is great for playing back at full red. So all you have to do is hit start proxy. And again, it's automatically gonna do this. You can leave the computer. You don't have to worry about it. And down here, if you have more things or more folders you wanted it to watch for, you can order them so that it can do that in order. And it gives you a time indicator here as well. This is gonna be so helpful for speeding up your workflow process because you don't have to wait for DaVinci Resolve to create the proxies. It automatically does it for you. So right here in this folder, you can see that it already created this proxy folder for me. I'm gonna drop the clip in here. I'm gonna hit change so that I can play it back at that. And right over here, it hasn't really updated yet, so it's not done rendering. But once it's done rendering, right up here, you have this new tab in DaVinci Resolve 18, and it says Prefer Proxies. So whenever those proxies are available, it will automatically start playing back the proxies. Or right here, you can see that it says Preferred Camera Original, and so it'll just go back to the original clip at full res. Now diving over here into our project settings, one thing that's also gonna, again, save me so much time is you can now save your default settings as far as what you want to do for your project. So I like to do 3840 by 1920, 29 frames per second. And then I go down here and I do automatically cast transitions. And then I change my proxy format settings. And then I also go over and do DaVinci Color Manage to get the best color grading flexibilities as possible. And then usually I have to do that every single time and even go in here and hit image scaling, scale to fit all. So now it makes it super easy. I can just go right up here to these three dots and hit save current settings as default preset, update, and now every single time it's gonna save those settings and upload so I don't have to go through and do this. Now the next thing is tracking people. Now you've been able to track people pretty easily in DaVinci Resolve before, but they've made it even better. So a lot of times I would like to put titles behind me for intros in my video. And now I can go over to the tracking icon, the same one that we've seen before. And in the magic mask setting, all I have to do is just like before, select a subject and there you have it. So all I have to do is track this mask and it will perfectly track me even if something passes in front of me. This is, again, gonna be crazy for people who are doing a lot of effects in post or in Fusion whenever they're editing in DaVinci Resolve 18. Now, speaking of Fusion, they've also brought a few updates to it as well. Now, right here in the Fusion tab, you can see that just like before, you have a lot of the similar layout. But if you do a merge node, which is something I pretty much do every single time I edit, I can now have the option to change the blend mode, which was very, very hard for me to figure out whenever I first started editing in Fusion instead of in After Effects. But now they've made it super easy to adjust the blend mode so that you can really fine tune your tracking or just blend things into an image better. Now, the next thing that they've also updated in Fusion is the fact that you can now play back the titles in real time. Now, before, I would have to basically create a cache of the title before it would play back, which is very, very annoying because if I wanted to change a certain text or anything within that edit, it would automatically have to cache again before it could play back. But now if we go right over here to effects 
and we drop in a fusion title. You can see that it's now playing back in real time with no issues at all. Now you can see that at the beginning it did need the time to render or cache it, but once it's cached it, here we go. It's not doing anything as far as like glitching or at the top, you can see that I'm still getting 29 frames per second. That's going to be a huge update to speeding up your workflow whenever you're editing in DaVinci Resolve 18. So there were a bunch of other features that came out with this new update. But for me, these are the ones that are going to personally affect me in my everyday workflow. And if you're someone who edits in DaVinci Resolve and you're interested in getting to know the software a bit better, then I recommend that you check out this playlist right over here. Boom. You didn't even know the video was coming to an end, did you, sucker? I tricked you. I tricked you. Now you got to click on the video. I'm done.